Hello everyone and welcome back to another Top Korean Movies by Genre video. As always, I'm your host Ian from Ian Talk, and today's video will be on the best Korean mystery movies. The Korean movie industry has lots of various great genres, and I've covered a lot of them already. However, there's one that I haven't reviewed yet, mystery. Korean cinema is amazing when it comes to the darker toned films, which is why I especially enjoy the thriller and noir genres, and mystery is another one of those genres where it has that darker vibe. But before getting into the video, I'd like to remind you that this list is ranked based on my personal recommendations. This means that the movies will be totally biased towards my opinions. Also, I've tried to include more films that I haven't mentioned in previous videos before as well, so that you guys, the Ian Talk viewers, have a wider selection of films to choose from. And I've also got a special tip on how you can watch more Korean movies. More of that later on. Okay then, that being said, let's get right into today's video on 10 Best Korean Mystery Movies. Starting off the list, the number 10 film is the 2019 release mystery action, The Divine Fury. The Divine Fury was directed by Kim Ju Hwan, who also directed the amazing comedy Midnight Runners, and starred Park Seo Joon, An Song Gi, and Woo Do Hwan. The Divine Fury is about an MMA fighter who wakes up one day with mysterious wounds on his hands, and the champion fighter suddenly finds himself in a battle against evil forces that wreak havoc on the human world. Next, the number 9 film is a movie that was released back in 2017, House of the Disappeared. Directed by Im dae -um, who also was one of the directors of horror stories, House of the Disappeared was a mystery horror. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the horror genre, but I had to mention this film as it definitely had me intrigued with the mysterious elements the film had. Starring Kim Yoon Jin, Ok tae -yeon, and Cho jae -yoon, the movie takes place 25 years ago when an ordinary housewife suddenly loses her husband and her son goes missing. All of these unfortunate events took place in their house, and the housewife was imprisoned for 25 years. When she's released from prison, she heads back to the house where everything took place and things unravel for the worst. And the number 8 movie goes to the most recent film on this list, Recalled. Directed by Seo Yu Min, Recalled had me interested from the trailers and the film had many twists that kept you thinking throughout its duration. The film starred Seo Ye Ji and Kim Gang Woo as the main leads and was about a woman who finds herself in a desperate fight to uncover the truth about her past when she wakes up not able to remember anything. She has disturbing visions about chilling accidents, but are these memories of the past or visions of the future? Moving along, the number 7 movie is another relatively recent film, The Call. The Call was directed by Lee chung Yun, and this mystery thriller was released on Netflix last year as the theatrical release of the film kept getting delayed due to the pandemic. The film had amazing performances by Park shin -hye and Chun jung seo and revolves around two people who live in different times. seo Yun lives in the present, and young suk lives in the past, and a special phone connects the two, and their lives are changed irrevocably upon this discovery. The number 6 movie goes to the 2015 film, The Silenced. This movie was directed by Lee hye young who directed another great film titled Believer, and was another mystery horror. Starring Park Bo-young, Om Ji-won, and Park So-nam, The Silence is about a girl that's transferred to a mysterious boarding school where creepy things keep occurring, and she's forced to discover its secrets to survive. Before moving into the top 5, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to ExpressVPN. If you would like to access more Korean movies through streaming services, I highly suggest using ExpressVPN to connect to servers from other locations to gain access to thousands of more content. By using ExpressVPN, you can bypass geo restrictions, meaning you can be from anywhere around the world and access the Korean and other country servers. If you'd like to access more Korean content like movies, dramas, and shows, be sure to sign up for ExpressVPN using my link in the descriptions or expressvpn.com slash iantalk and get 49% off an annual plan, plus 3 extra months for free. Better yet, if you sign up and don't like the service, there's a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning you can cancel any time within the first 30 days. And now, the top 5. Starting off the top 5, the number 5 movie is the 2019 film, Zavaha the Sixth Finger. Zavaha the Sixth Finger was directed by Chang jae yeon who also directed The Priest, and this film had an ensemble cast of Lee Jong Jae, Park Jong Min, Lee Jae In, and Yoo Ji Tae. This is another movie that sits on the borderline between mystery and horror, 
and it revolves around a pastor who works to expose suspicious religious cults and a police captain that investigates a murder case and the mysterious things that occurs between them. Moving on to the number 4 spot, the number 4 movie goes to the 2017 film, Forgotten. Forgotten was directed by Chang Hang Jun, who also directed Breakout, and the director is actually seen a lot on TV and different shows nowadays. He's got a very funny and quirky personality, but don't let this comedic side fool you as Forgotten is totally different from his TV personality. Starring Kang Ha Neul and Kim Mu-yeol, when the protagonist's brother is abducted but returns seemingly a different man with no memory of the past 19 days, the main character chases after the truth behind the kidnapping. Coming in at number 3 of my list of best Korean mystery movies is the oldest film on this list, Helpless. Helpless was directed by Pyon Young-ju, who's another director that's seen a lot on TV shows lately, and I remember seeing this movie in theaters and being totally intrigued from the beginning. I went into it blind, not watching the trailers nor not knowing what the film was about, and I was pleasantly surprised. The movie starred the likes of Lee sung yoon Kim min and Cho sung ha and is about a man in search for his fiance who vanished without a trace just before their wedding ceremony, only to discover the shocking true identity of her. And now, just two movies left. Two of my favorite Korean mystery movies. First, the number two film was a movie released in 2018, The Witch Part 1, The Subversion. Directed by one of my personal favorite Korean directors, Park Hun Jung, who also directed New World, VIP, and Night in Paradise, The Witch Part 1, The Subversion, not only had great mystery, but also had amazing action sequences as well. The movie really got me to become a fan of Kim Dami and Choi Woo Sik and really placed those two actors on the scene. The film also starred Cho Min Soo and Park Hee Soon and revolves around a student with what can only be called superpowers and her trying to uncover her identity. All of this leads her into deeper troubles, ultimately revealing a darkness that nobody could have imagined. And finally, the number one Korean mystery movie. The number one spot goes to one of the most internationally recognized Korean movies, The Wailing. The Wailing was directed by the incredible director Na Hong Jin, whose other must-watch films include The Chaser and The Yellow Sea, and he also did the screenplay for the relatively recent horror film, The Medium. I say this is not only one of the best Korean mystery movies, but one of the best horror movies as well. The film had amazing performances by Kwak Do Won, Hwang Jung Min, Kunimura Jun, Chun Woo and Kim Wan Hee, and in the film, Soon after a stranger arrives in a little village, a mysterious sickness starts spreading. The policeman of the village, drawn into the accident, is forced to solve the mystery in order to save his daughter and the other villagers. And that's it for today's video on best Korean mystery movies. Some films that you believe should have made it on this list may not have been included, but please remember that this list was based on my personal recommendations. Nonetheless, I'd love to hear which movies you believe are deserving of the title Best Korean Mystery Movies, as well as movies on this list that you've seen and enjoyed, so please leave a comment or join in on the discussions on the EM Talk Telegram group, linked in the descriptions. If you enjoyed this video and would like more similar content, be sure to like and subscribe, and be sure to sign up for ExpressVPN using my link to access more Korean movies and dramas. Finally, your support on Patreon will be very helpful in making more content. Once again, thank you to everyone that watched till the end, and I'll see you guys in the next one.